Howdy mates. Good afternoon, early afternoon. I should say it is Sunday, April 30th, 2023. Hard to believe that it is almost going to be May, which is tomorrow. But anyways, I'm actually on my way to the deep hole, which is an attraction known at the Mayaka River State Park up near Sarasota. It's a breezy one today, so that's why it may look like I have a haircut, but I don't. It's just pulled back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting rid of that anytime soon. But anyways, the basis of the video, which I'm going out in a sec, is focusing more upon some different plant varieties that you'll see at a prairie. Now this is considered to be more of a dry prairie, but of course when it does rain, the soil is mostly sand, so it's a very well draining soil, you could say. So you know, even though it rained yesterday in this part of Florida, with so much lightning going on, which is cool to watch. It doesn't even look like it rained here, even though it did. This is right now. The plants here are a bit thirsty, but a fascinating term for me to bring up is adaptation. I like to use with adaptation is you know that song from the Bee Gees you know when they're trying to stay alive <laughs> but instead of using staying alive you say it like adaptation you kind of say it in that tone well it really sets the same basis adaptation is basically changing to adjust accordingly to particular conditions the environment or even physical. So that being said, one particular plant that we have right here, I'm sure many of you have seen before, this is known as black root. Now, yes, they are known for their black roots. However, though, they're not really, really recommended to be dug up because you could say that they are considered a tuber. So they actually do share relation with sweet potatoes, for example. In other words, they're very rhizomatic, too, for another, because oftentimes you will see them in colonies. So like, just right down here, there is another one, which is most likely part of the same network. But what's particularly neat about the plant is, notice how it kind of has like a, a striped appearance along the stem there, or the stalk? Well, what's neat is, with the leaves, as opposed to them just ending right where, the, where it meets with the stalk, the whole leaf base actually runs down the entire stem and meets with the ground. There aren't many plants that have that capability. And for another, the particular flower head that you see, this is known as a spiciform. <coughs> so you're seeing each individual dot, per se, is one individual flower arrangement. fascinating aspect of why we should really care about this plant is a, partic a particular chemical that is in the plant, especially in the roots, is known as coumarin. And not just the roots, but also the leaves too. But coumarin. It's a chemical that gives the plant a bit of a sweet scent. And it's also used in different uh, perfumes you know, for aesthetic purpose. And for another, 
cumarin is also used as an anticoagulant in the medical world. So in other words, it acts as a blood thinner. And it is sold, such a product is sold under the brand of Coumadin. And so, that being said, it's actually a very useful plant for us. You can see we got some young salt palmetto. And that's the point, is even though we have our pharmacies, much of what is used in our pharmacies, you know, and from prescriptions, there are vast varieties of them that are derived from plant sources. So you could say that already nature provides a pharmacy before it's further developed to be used in actual pharmacies. How about that? But, uh, anyway, this particular habitat that we are seeing is actually at risk. They've been in severe decline in the state. I mean, from what I've read, you know, I think even in Florida there might only be one to two percent of the land that remains that has an ecosystem like this. So in other words, they have been in great decline. And that's why they're worth protecting. Unfortunately, it is under the Mayaka River State Park. So, all right, you guys, thank you for watching. Hope you gained something of value as a takeaway. And once again, enjoy your weekend.